Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, we will be looking into some science on how varying lengths of water fasting affects blood pressure. Learn your body, a science-based education. This content is brought to us by a study I will have linked for you, as well as my notes and any content amendments. Briefly, a bit on the study design before we get to the results. The study was a prospective in build, meaning the researchers did not use any scientific manipulation like telling participants they had to fast a particular way and compared against a control group, but rather followed people already committing to a water fast under the supervision of personnel at a fasting institution. Participants of the study chose to fast for either 5, 10, 15, or 20 days in a row and had to be in generally good health, although participants were often overweight and some had blood pressure issues, which makes this data that much more relevant. Although a straight water fast would have been preferable, all participants consumed a 200 calorie soup each day, but the rest of the time they consumed water. Measurements were taken before the beginning of the study, therefore before the fast, and then again at the end of the respective fasts. Unfortunately, there were significant pre-study weight differences between the 5, 10, 15, and 20 day conditions, which makes comparisons between the groups difficult, but we will still be able to compare their pre-fasting measures to their post-fasting measures. So onto the data. As you likely know, blood pressure is split into two numbers. The top number, which is systole or systolic blood pressure, and represents the high pressure environment of the blood vessels when the heart pushes blood out of itself by contracting its muscle. The bottom number, diastole, or the diastolic blood pressure, represents the relaxation of that musculature, thereby creating a low pressure environment in the blood vessels. The data shows that at all fasting lengths, systolic and diastolic blood pressure decrease. And not only that, most, if not all of the decline occurs in the first five days of fasting. This is evidence that fasting can reduce blood pressure from pathologically high blood pressure to normal blood pressure. All in all, this data offers evidence fasting can powerfully reduce blood pressure both systolic and diastolic in people with high blood pressure if this evidence follows through to normotensive individuals is not known, but I imagine it would offer some decline, although unlikely to be nearly as dramatic. So as little as 5 days of water fasting reduces blood pressure dramatically. So with that, I hope this proved informative and useful to you, and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the future. Cheers.